Hello, my name is James Casey. I am a lawyer in Washington, D.C., a former Reagan Republican, now independent. And I'm talking to you today about why the current president should be removed immediately from office based upon his actions, his delays, and his omissions. What happened in Washington, D.C. was a disgraceful, shameful, and humiliating day in American history. Surely our enemies are laughing now to see what transpired at the Capitol yesterday. The president incited the mob. The president encouraged them to march on the Capitol. This is not the America I grew up with. This is not the presidents we used to have. We have been told that Donald Trump is a businessman. He's not a politician. Well, my God, look what we have now. This is an embarrassing moment for our nation. And I seriously wonder what the heck is going on when so many Republicans enabled and made excuses for Trump's behavior the last four years. It has now all come home to roost. For all that he has done and not done, his uh, soft-hearted denunciations of violence, his backhanded encouragement and slate of hand to encourage his base to take these steps, this is not American. What happened yesterday was criminal activity. It was not political speech. Criminal activity in any context should never be acceptable in the United States. Riots in the United States should never be acceptable. But what happened yesterday is shaking everything to the core in the country as I record this video. Resignations continue in the cabinet and in White House positions. Never mind the fact that the president never had fully staffed all the positions within his direct purview. So this is where we are, and this is what we were told we were going to get. And the sad part is so many Republicans made excuses for his behavior. They enabled him. They lacked the spine. We have now reaped what we allowed to happen. And if there are any lawyers associated with the current president who are complicit in any of these actions, they should be disbarred by the relevant state Supreme Courts because they are not fit officers of the court. So at the end of the day, the incoming president, President Biden, has a mess to clean up, a big mess. Did the current president design all of this so he can leave office and leave the incoming president with a mess? Maybe. But at the end of the day, the current president is not going to be looked kindly upon by historians and nor by most Americans. And it truly is a shame if there is 20 or 30 percent of the population that thinks that what he did was acceptable yesterday. So the Congress, the cabinet should do its job and remove the current president either by impeachment or by invocation of the 25th Amendment